And now, aviation weather around Alaska. Tuesday morning, IFR here in northern Bering Sea into the southwest coast and down into northwestern Bristol Bay through the Bering Strait covering the North Slope and Arctic coast. More IFR here, southern Kodiak Island and the Pacific side of the Alaska Peninsula. Marginal for the Aleutian chain and moving over to the southeast coast, VFR there right up to Yakutat. Marginal VFR sliding up into the North Gulf Coast area, southern Cook Inlet, VFR in the interior. And for the afternoon, uh, moisture, fly, or moisture streaming in from the southwest and then at the surface, southeast, so that puts IFR here along the uh, southern coast of the Kenai Peninsula up into western Prince William Sound and marginal VFR, south central Alaska, VFR Copper River Basin, marginal VFR now right up to the coastline of the Panhandle. Pretty good here, central eastern part of the state, areas of IFR for the north slope and Arctic coast. And out in the Bering Sea, IFR now pulling back to near the coastline, actually Cape Nuenem up to Makoriak, and then northward there through the Bering Strait and marginal VFR for the remainder of the Bering Sea, all of the Aleutians, Alaska Peninsula. And then for the uh, Wednesday morning time frame, we've got some more IFR with another system spreading into the western Aleutians. Marginal VFR to the east of that, into the uh, Alaska Peninsula, and uh, re-enhanced IFR here, inland areas of the, uh, mainly the Kuskokwim Delta, and possibly into the southern Kuskokwim Valley there, just north of the Pribloffs, through the Bering Strait, North Slope Arctic Coast again, south of the Brooks Range, mostly VFR all the way down to the Alaska Range, and then you pick up some marginal VFR, IFR for the uh, Western Alaska Range and Western Prince William Sound area with VFR for the Southeast Coast. And that mostly holds into the afternoon. Again, marginal VFR pushing up to the coastline, maybe in toward Elfin Cove and uh, Glacier Bay areas. VFR breaking out with some west-northwest flow here for Cook Inlet down to Kodiak Island. Otherwise, marginal for Prince William Sound and the Susitna Valley up to the Alaska Range. Again, the interior, mostly VFR and IFR for the North Slope and Arctic Coast and areas up there. Not too bad, still some lingering IFR through the Bering Strait, mostly over the Chuck CC off the, off the Northwest Coast. And then that next system uh, pushing some IFR into the Southwest Bering Sea. Passes, Anatuvik and, Anatuvik and Anagan, both passes. Occasionally marginal for the day on Tuesday. Lake Clark and Merrill, marginal VFR, possible IFR on the eastern entrance of both those passes. And rainy, marginal VFR, again possible IFR on the eastern approach. Windy, marginal VFR. Isabel, VFR. Mintasta, VFR. Tanita, marginal VFR. Portage, IFR, lowest conditions east side. Chilkoot and White, VFR. Freezing levels here, 6,000 feet, upper level ridge, slowly shifting eastward here. And the southwest flow kind of parallel to these uh, lines here out to the west where the much cooler air is aloft to 2,000 feet back south of the Aleutians, 2,000 feet there over the southeast coast. And looking at the icing, considerable moderate rime icing here along the southwest coast, Nunavak Island area. And uh, next batch starting to show up there out to the west. Otherwise could be some... Mar uh, Areas of moderate rime icing here along the frontal boundary, south central Alaska, Prince William Sound, northwestward there into the Kobuk Valley, extending across Kotzebue, northern Seward Peninsula. The jet stream, again, this uh, 33,000 feet, you can see some ridging here over uh, the west or more to the west today, shifting eastward tomorrow by tomorrow morning or afternoon. And some pretty good northwest uh, winds across the Panhandle way up there at about 110 to 125 knots. Southwest around 100 knots, Kodiak Island. And then back to northwest here over the western Bering Sea down to Adak up to about 100 knots or so over the island there. And at 9,000 feet, southeast winds 50 knots, northern Seward Peninsula, 45 knots southerlies here right into the interior areas and 55 knots out of the west northwest there 55 dropping back to 40 knots up toward the uh, southern bering sea and some uh, <clears throat> north winds 40 knots mostly over dixon entrance of queen charlotte islands 3,000 feet not too bad for the uh, 
panhandle in the Gulf of Alaska, although some uh, 40 knot winds swinging up and around this low center there over Shelikoff Strait. Not too bad, pretty light over the interior. And then on the back side of this low in conjunction with a high just to the west there, north turning northwest winds 40 to 45 knots. Turbulence, occasional moderate turbulence, uh, pretty likely here in Alaska Peninsula all the way out to the eastern Aleutians and also areas of south central Alaska surface to about 6,000 feet.